In this episode, poverty will be determined based on the GDP, the gross domestic product, based on the purchasing power parity or the PPP, as well as literacy rate and employment rate. And these generally speaking are the parameters used to determine the level of poverty of a country. Some of the poorest countries in the world have the lowest GDPs and literacy rates of any other country. Welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and in this episode I'm looking at 10 of the poorest countries in the entire world. Now it's one thing to note that being among the poorest countries based on these criteria doesn't mean that it's a terrible country. There's just room for improvement in these areas when compared to other countries. And again, we're using the GDP PPP amounts, not the GDP amounts. So let's get into this episode. Starting at number 10, we have the country of Guinea with a GDP per capita of 2,338 US dollars. Although very rich in natural resources, the country of Guinea faces issues such as poor management, and lack of safe infrastructure. Getting important resources such as electricity and water are also a challenge in the country, which makes running a business very costly. These factors also make foreign investors worried about coming to Guinea. The country number nine is Eritrea with a GDP per capita of $2,102.95 US. Eritrea is a small country in Africa and it has seen some growth in its economy in recent years. However, it's still ranks among the world's poorest country with an average person earning less than 1,500 US dollars a year. A large amount of the country's GDP is made up of remittance, which is money sent to residents from relatives that live in other countries. Country number eight is Madagascar with a GDP per capita of $1,452.60 US. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and the average person is 42% poorer today than he was 50 years ago. And this is according to the World Bank. Three quarters of the population of Madagascar are now estimated by the United Nations to live on less than $1.25 US per day. With the majority of the population dependent on agriculture for their survival, the country's economy is really exposed to weather related disasters. Next on the list, we have Mozambique with a GDP per capita of $1,180.37 US. Mozambique is located on the southeast coast of Africa, bordering Zimbabwe and Malawi, as well as South Africa. Unfortunately, it too is struggling with crippling poverty. There's a lot of corruption and that is said to be a massive problem in the country, which hinders the economic success of the residents. Much of the rural Mozambique lives on less than $1.25 US per day. The country number six is Malawi with a GDP per capita of $1,163 dollars and 30 cents US. In Malawi, well over 85% of the country's population live in rural area and is dependent on subsistence farming. The country's economy is fragile and very dependent on foreign aid. Back in the year 2000, however, the International Monetary Fund or the IMF stopped its aid payments to Malawi, saying that widespread corruption and mishandling of the funds by the government was the main reason. The country halfway in at number five is Liberia and they have a GDP per capita of $1,161.20 US. Unfortunately, Liberia is often pointed to as an example of a failed state. The country has suffered and struggled a lot for a variety of reasons, including an outbreak of Ebola in recent years, as well as the rise of militant groups and warlords who are controlling resources. The country number four is Niger with a GDP per capita of $932 US. Niger is named after the Niger River and Niger has oil reserves but internal problems have led to major economic issues while Niger is the largest country in West Africa most of its territory is covered by the Sahara Desert which limits the economic activities which the country's population can engage in. Also the country is landlocked and poor in resources. Only three nations left at number three we have the Democratic Republic of Congo with a GDP per capita of $930.50 USD. The Democratic Democratic Republic of Congo, which is different from the Republic of Congo, and it's really unfortunate for this country because it has been in the middle of all sorts of military and political issues for a long period of time, and this is why we have such a low GDP per capita. And one of the saddest things about this is that over the recent years, it has actually fallen. Then there's also the Central African Republic with a GDP per capita 
of $774.70 USD. The economy of Central African Republic is largely dependent on the exports of diamonds, which brings in between 40 to 55 percent of the country's exports revenue. However, it's estimated that up to half of those diamonds are sold on the black market, which denies the government of tax revenues, as well as hardworking business people are getting completely ripped off. Now the number one most poor nation in the world is Burundi with a GDP per capita of $660.30 USD. Burundi tops this list and this another African nation with an overwhelming majority of its population depending on agriculture. According to the IMF data, over 80% of the country's population lives below the poverty line and problems with government corruption and coups have really crippled Burundi's ability to actually develop as a nation and as a result poverty is widespread. So guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. Definitely an eye-opening one. Being on the poorest country list is definitely not an achievement that you want associated with your country. And we can see that a lot of these countries are fully rich with resources and capable minds and people. However, it's just unfortunate that based on how their systems are structured, government and political issues and corruption, you can see how they can really affect a nation. But anyways, guys, that's enough from me. I wanna hear from you. Share your thoughts and comments down below about anything that I spoke about. Or if you want to add in a new perspective or new points, share them down below in the comment section. And before you head on out, here's another related video that I highly recommend. It's packed with information for you. My social media links are also below in the video description section. So you can follow me, shoot me a message over there as well. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to join the FTD Facts family by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. That way you'll be notified of future episodes. We post daily here on FTD Facts, so I'll see you real soon in another episode.